So first of all, uh, I would like to thank our buddies at Best Buy and Intel. They are the guys that sponsored this, so we really appreciate it. The main sponsored item is this guy right here, an Asus Rogue laptop. Uh, this is a laptop that is brand new. Looks very cool. We're going to do a full unboxing now. Uh, this is an, a ninth gen iCore i7. This laptop was engineered for gaming with the mobile processor. It has a terabyte Intel SSD, 32 megs of RAM, and an Intel or an NVIDIA GF RTX 2060. So this does all sorts of stuff. Uh, it also has a display that breaks the 144 megahertz barrier for even smoother gaming graphics and has RGB and all that fun stuff as well. So we're going to be checking that out. Um, should be good. Uh, also, if you're wondering why we're doing this, the main reason we're doing this is for Intel Gamer Days. And for those that don't know what that is, uh, it is the basically like a, a shopping thing they're doing in partner with Best Buy, um, where you can get all sorts of stuff. You can actually spec your own builds out, which is kind of fun. If you look in the profile of my Twitch page down there, you'll see a button that you can click on that'll take you right to all this stuff. So definitely check it out. If you're interested or looking for new machines, it's a good place to start. Uh, so let's go ahead and unbox this guy and go from there. Um, so for the record, I have not looked in this at all yet. Um, Ooh. That new plastic. Yeah. All right, let's see here. Oh my lord. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, first of all, it's thin and it's light. Um, which honestly, with the specs, I was expecting it to be a little bit heavier. That's cool. Pop this guy open. Ooh, here's your very nice mat. <laughs> So yeah, this little guy's looking good. We'll look at the keyboard there. Really nice little unit. Got some uh, nice little utility buttons at the top, 144 Hertz monitor. And I believe, I wanna say it's 15.6. Um, let me pull up all the stats of this little guy here. Uh, so this guy is a 32 megs of RAM, an RTX 260, an i7 9750H, H with 2.6 gigahertz, a terabyte SSD, 15.6 inches. Um, yeah, it's 0.7 inches high. No wonder it's so light. Yeah, <laughs> so that's like the entire thing right there. 14.2 uh, inches with with a 9.6 depth, and it weighs four pounds. That's it. So yeah, pretty cool. Uh, for those that I know are like me and want to see all this stuff, there your right side. There is your back. Very few buttons on the back. Very few, or excuse me, very few sockets on the back. It looks like they're almost all on the left and right side. You do have an Ethernet port for those that still use Ethernet, which is most gamers these days. A lot of fine stuff there too. Very cool. So yeah, um, very nice. So big thank you to the guys over at Asus and Intel and Best Buy. Really looking forward to checking this guy out. We're gonna be trying this dude over the next couple weeks and getting you a much more full report on that. So yeah, big thank you for that. Very, very cool. And again, if you wanna check out any more information for this, this is all about the Intel Gamer Days at Best Buy. The button down on my profile will take you right to it. Be sure to check that out. Now also, some of you like to know what else is in the box. So let's go through everything else. Uh, we've got a box. What's in the box? Got some starting gear, some stickers, Republic of Gamers stuff, warranty information. Great, great, great. And then we also have two side compartments in the box. Let's see, the guy on the right is empty. And the guy on the left, ooh, is all of our fun cables and power brick. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And I believe that's about everything. Nice and clean, super crisp. All right. Very cool. Very, very cool. So big thanks again to Intel and Best Buy for sponsoring that. And uh, yeah, this has been great. I will be checking this guy out, getting it all set up, plugged in, test some stuff out on it. I will let you know 
how it all goes. Awesome. And thank you, thank you. Oh, I said 32 megabytes of RAM. Let's let's go with gigabytes, I guess. I mean, it, to be fair, it does have 32 megabytes of RAM. It just has significantly more than that on top of it. Um, so I wasn't wrong, just a little bit under. Yeah. All right. So that is that.